Hi everyone, I would like to share with you how I've altered some jars and a bottle into this uh, funny uh, whimsical thing, to me at least, and it's not for a Halloween or something, it just, I like this stuff, and this was a jam uh, jar, and this was a the thing that is with sticks and makes a good smell in the room don't know how you call it and this was a salad dressing bottle so i've watched several uh, videos and came up with <laughs> uh, my uh, method for doing this altering and i would like to share with you and i've got here another uh, gem uh, jar and I'm going to cover it all with this kind of aluminum uh, adhesive tape. That's the best I can do. <laughs> Don't know uh, the correct uh, name for it. I found it in the hardware aisle in my chip store, local chip store. And I'm just taking little pieces, scrunching them up. The adhesive is very good. That's why I'm going to use this and not any other method i've seen a uh, people doing gesso uh, on top of uh, on the jar but i think it can uh, be scratched so i wanted something that would be permanent and won't peel off the glass and the adhesive of this uh, thing is very strong so I've been experimenting with this. Now I don't know if other kind of adhesive tapes will work like masking tape because it, it really depends on how strong the adhesive is uh, on the back. So and you can do it, uh, you can make texture as much as, uh, as you want or little as you want. I like a lot of texture and it's really uh, easy to uh, model this kind of uh, tape so I like it and I'm trying to avoid uh, that it will uh, have straight lines I don't want uh, the finished product to have straight lines I needed to look uh, seamless so I need to go all over and put down and I'm taking a uh, very little pieces when I'm doing uh, areas like this that I don't want them to go over uh, here I still want this jar to be a uh, serviceable so little pieces when you need uh, to be accurate and not uh, overlap something that you don't want to so as I said I'm just taking pieces crunching them up to make a lot of texture and even when I'm finished if I feel an area is not textured mm -hmm. enough I'll just take another piece and go over that area If you don't want uh, the jar like <laughs> now that it's rolling on me, just take uh, some kind of uh, towel or something like that and it would be a little bit more easier. Just so it won't roll uh, everywhere. So I've got a little work here to go all over my jar and as you can see I'm flattening it with my finger quite easily and I'm also going to do the, uh, the cap and of course uh, little pieces here if I don't want 
it to overlap and shut my jar so I'm going to continue going all over my jar and then I'll come back I'm back so uh, my jar is completely covered and now it you need to think what you want to decorate your jar with now uh, in these cases here I've used uh, just a a glue gun to make this like uh, the dragon ta a tail uh, this came afterwards and I will talk about it the writing and here and here I've got here I've got a lizard that I've cut and here I've got some kind of snake and these are the cheapest uh, kind of uh, I don't know plastic foam things that uh, are in a uh, cheap store for kids and <laughs> don't know the attraction of it but who cares for me it's going it's fabulous to uh, use uh, as decoration for this kind of stuff I'm already planning on using this to alter a book uh, some kind of book of spells or something like that so um, here is the lizard that I've used here I just cut it in the middle uh, just for the fun of it and here is the snake that is here I also got some kind of alligator here only I don't think it would fit it's a little bit too big for my jar so I'll uh, leave it be so that's uh, I just attach them again with a glue gun and uh, after you put whatever you want you can put beads you can put uh, laces uh, trims uh, whatever you have charms uh, after you uh, glue them then will come gesso so just find the elements that you want to decorate your uh, your jar so uh, this time I'm not using this and uh, it just doesn't fit for uh, this occasion I'm thinking uh, of doing uh, some uh, spider web with my glue gun and let's see not planned just putting it there and it's a bit tricky because right now it's clear so uh, I have a hard time seeing <laughs> what I'm doing when it's uh, when it's uh, dry it will be more uh, visible Ow. Ah, I'm a genius I'm always doing it okay That's why I prefer not to use a glue gun, but sometimes you just have to. Okay. Let's see. If I can <laughs> hold it. <laughs> so now for these lines of the spider web. As I said, it's a bit tricky because it doesn't sh uh, show right now on top of uh, the aluminium. I will have to wait for a uh, part of it to dry before I continue if I don't want to singe myself again on it or maybe I'll just hold it uh, here in the bottom so I can finish Yeah. 
if I think uh, it's not raised enough to give me uh, the texture I want the visibility then I'll just go over a line again now I'm going to hold it as you can see as it dries it uh, turns milky a little bit so you can see what's going on maybe another line and that would be it for the spider web Now, as a, I'm going to leave it be, this the spider web, I hope it will be nice enough. And on top of uh, these two jars, I've put something, I don't know, whimsical, just so it would be nice. And these are just two beads that I've glued down. And this, believe it or not, is the end of a curtain road. Uh, that you put on the side to stop the curtain from going <laughs> sideways and I've kept it uh, a long time <laughs> and uh, it came through I finally got to use it on something and I think it's uh, quite whimsical for this kind of thing so I've been looking for something for this jar uh, with all my stashes and I can I want I wanted something more a little bit more organic and I remembered I had all this uh, potpourri I think it's called and it's also something that I have from the cheap store and some of the pieces are quite uh, uh, stiff and can be worked with and I will not use uh, something like that that can crumble so here is what I came up with I've got this piece this and this and in later day just an idea maybe you will try it I've got this lovely flower and I'm thinking maybe I should dip it in something like gesso or in some kind of wool compound that is diluted with water so it will cover it without uh, damaging all the dried leaves and maybe then I can use it I need to try so I've got uh, this piece and I want to put these two pieces on top and I hope it will make this and interesting this needs more glue I think I will even add more glue here or another piece yeah I need another piece to come here and complete my crazy lid decoration here we go and all this is going to get covered with gesso I'm waiting for uh, the glue to to dry and now I'm putting glue here on the lid and Here we go. Yeah, it seems like it's in place. So I'm just going to wait for a... No, this is dry, yeah. So, next stage is gessoing everything. And where is my gesso? Here it is. 
I'll just start and then go off camera because it's boring and just so you will see here we go and push it in and to get into all your texture go back and forth so it will get into all the nooks and crannies you want complete coverage you see I'm going uh, up and down and uh, to the side just so I will make to make sure it goes into all the lovely wrinkles that I made now if you have some kind of adhesive that you know works on glass then you can uh, use anything you can take tissue paper and wrinkle it and just uh, put it on your jar I don't have any uh, adhesive that I know can work on glass so that was my uh, solution uh, for all the, the aluminium uh, was my solution <laughs> to this and it was in the cheap store and it was cheap so it worked for me okay so I'm going to continue uh, uh, covering everything with gesso and when it's dry I'll come back I'm back so uh, this is dry and I'm thinking I'm gonna uh, make it uh, in blue tones I've got the red I've got green and uh, purple and what I've done with all of those uh, I've picked uh, here I used like two colors and uh, one darker than the other just it just gives more to the overall painting of the jar uh, again here I I've used two colors of green and here I think three colors of purple and I'm gonna start this jar with uh, I've got here Persian blue uh, crimson and I'm going to start at the bottom with the darker uh, color and work my way to the top with a lighter color it doesn't uh, really uh, matter just play with it and get into all uh, the crevices all your uh, texture that you made it needs to be completely uh, covered and now I see that in several places the gesso is uh, not completely dry but we shall overcome so as you can see I'm working on pushing down the paint inside all this te texture that I have and in the li little, little bitty corners uh, the gesso is still wet but I'm just going over it and because I don't want light blue so I, you get the idea and basically what I'm planning is covering part of the bottom with the darker color with this color and then I'm going to add a lighter color and start uh, blending and it's not completely uh, has to be blended or anything it just here I'm taking another and just picking up just so you have some gradual uh, 
transition between the two colors and also that it won't be completely solid one color and then <clears throat> I find that when you paint something in the same color all the way it just uh, sometimes looks like uh, plastic so I try to put uh, some kind of variation to the colors So at the bottom I have the darker one and now I'm picking from the lighter one and starting to blend. And if I think it's uh, I just go over the places if you I think it's too uh, dark I will add from the uh, <coughs> lighter color and if I think it's too light and again just playing it's not an exact science just trying to cover and make it interesting I'm thinking now that I need an, to make another jar and this time I'm thinking going completely black with uh, with the gold accent on all the texture should be very dramatic oops I hope I'm in frame So you see I'm completely covering everything. Okay, so I'm going to complete uh, painting everything. I'll wait for it to dry and then I'll come back for the next stage of this altered uh, jar. I'll be back. I'm back so this looks like uh, just a blob of blue uh, but here comes the fun part now we are uh, going to pick uh, all the texture and make it visible and I'm going to use this gilding um, wax but you can use uh, any acrylic uh, heavy acrylic uh, gold it will work the same I just am fascinated with this I ha don't have any uh, details about this gilding wax I've picked it uh, up when I was in uh, Vienna and all things here are not in uh, English only the gilding wax so <laughs> I don't know what to tell you and I really liked it and now I'm just with my finger same thing with uh, the acrylic I'm just going all over and this is picking up the texture now it's beginning to be interesting and of course you don't have to use gold if you want you can use any kind of uh, like bronze or uh, any kind of metallic that you prefer and there is another option if you're going with a light color on your uh, on your jar or your bottle then you can go another way and go with black for all the all the wrinkles and all the texture that you have I'm thinking now that maybe I maybe you can also use a, an ink pad a gold ink pad maybe it will also pick up uh, all this detail but I haven't uh, tried it so I don't know but maybe it will work so as you can see just with my finger and I'm putting down here because I want it flat I don't want to pick up a, a blob 
of a uh, gold and smear it because I want it to pick only the texture and not start uh, painting gold inside also with acrylic the same thing be gentle <laughs> with it you don't want uh, it to paint you just want it to pick up all the details and of course if you feel it, it doesn't show just go over and add where you think it needs more uh, of the gold I'm putting more on the lid just for the uh, so it will be more defined at least the edges of it and uh, in tight spaces that you feel that you can't uh, reach you can also take a brush it's better to pick up a, a flat brush also a little bit of the acrylic or this uh, wax and gently rub it on the flat side like so because I don't want to paint it I just want it to pick the texture here we go of course if you want an area that is more uh, defined with the gold you can do it but if you just want to pick the details be very gentle and use the flat of the brush here I'm picking up only the edges of this <laughs> dried uh, whatever that was from the potpourri don't know what it is don't care it just gave me something really nice for the cap well that's it I think with the uh, yeah here we go so now I'm just adding like I've done here and, and in the other uh, bottles and jars I want some twine with um, a charm and I'm just taking one of a uh, put down the charm on a twine just doing like this so it will stay in place and putting it here And just a simple knot, nothing fancy here. Here we go. And I want to write on it, and I'm gonna use this as 3D paint or puff paint or tulip paint, or um, there are many. Um, uh, names for this kind of <laughs> paint in, in this tube and I don't know I hope you know what I mean and what it is so go yeah this is it that's my uh, <laughs> gem jar turned into so here are this needs to uh, dry of course and but the, here are my uh, jars I hope you can see it 
and I'll take of course a picture of it where I'm going to put it in the house <laughs> so you'll get a feel for what is <laughs> uh, what I'm doing with it and just so you will know if you want it to be <clears throat> a little bit more dramatic you can take a black acrylic paint dilute it with water and start dripping it and it will be more uh, take more a uh, more spooky <laughs> more Halloween I don't know so uh, that's another uh, ID and another one that I haven't uh, done is I thought about uh, gluing uh, those plastic eyes that move uh, all over uh, a jar and it should be quite interesting <laughs> and a little bit spooky so this is it I hope you've enjoyed it thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments below and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now